Hello friends, this is part 4 of Astronomy and Astrophysics DSC 2 paper 2022 5th semester Dibrugur University So we have already solved up to question number uh, 3 I think right So today we are going to solve question number 4 and question number 5 And uh, before we start please subscribe the channel hit the thumbs up button Also share with your friends inspire me to create new contents for you and if you want to follow me on Insta, this is my Insta ID Oza Oza Aisha Oza Like Khaji L A K H Y A J I T One Twenty Three Oza Like Khaji One Twenty Three. This is my Insta ID. You can follow me on Insta if you want to follow me on Insta. Okay. So now let's start. So what is the uh, here? You see, uh, we have already solved up to question number three. D. Now we're gonna start from question number four A. So discuss the net uh, discuss with net diagram the uh, equatorial mounting system of telescope. So now let me give you the answer directly. I'm not gonna explain that. Okay. So here is the answer to question number four A. Answer. So this is the page number one. Uh, take a screenshot. And this is the page number two. Take a screenshot or you can note pause the video and note it down. Okay and this is page number three this is the uh, this is the answer of question number four a so you have to start from here this is the second and this is the last so now question number four b estimate the radius of a star here mass is given temperature given internal temperature and here boltzmann's constant is given right so now you see uh, these are the given information so, so using those informations we're gonna uh, calculate the uh, we're gonna estimate the radius of the you know star so how to solve that it's uh, so now you see uh, let me solve question number four b this one okay first you mention the given that is what are uh, what are the informations given informations first mention those okay then solve so here the uh, here the formula that we're gonna use is this r is equal to capital g capital m m h by k b a t so this uh, mention this data here in the solution okay so i haven't mentioned here but you must mention okay so i'm going to use the uh, values directly from this question here in this case so now you see value of g let me put here 6.7 into 10 to the minus 11 this is the value of g then uh, we have capital m capital m is this, this one 10 to the power mi uh, minus 30 kg 10 to the power minus 30 kg and a small mh is this one this is so just wait uh, let me write this one here this is the value of this 6.7 into 10 to the power minus 11 then we have capital m 10 to the power 10 to the power 30 kg into then a small mh 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 27 divided by kb that is 1.38 into 10 to the power minus 23 into next we have uh, t temperature is given 10 to the power 7 kelvin so this is radius so here we're gonna put here meter okay so that's gonna be equal to 6.7 here we have two decimal places here also two decimal places we can directly remove the decimal right into 10 to the power minus 11 here you see this is minus 11 plus 30 right minus 11 plus 30 that is 19 that is 19 then minus 27 that's going to be minus 8 right so here we're going to have minus 8 then this is minus 23 if you divide it then it's going to be plus 23 then minus 7 so now you see if you calculate this part then you're gonna get uh, 8.109 something uh, like that uh, you can write 8.11 into 10 to the power here you see minus 7 minus 8 that's gonna be minus 15 right 23 minus 15 that's gonna be 8 right that's gonna be 8 so hope you have understood this just wait minus 8 plus 23 minus 7 so this is the radius of star okay now we need to write the short notes on 
variable theorem so you can write the sort notes from here okay this is 4c answer to the question number 4c so this is the first piece this is the second and last piece for this answer question number 4c first write this then this one okay so now let's move on to next question now question number 5a okay now you see here we need to draw the acer diagram okay uh, so let me show you the diagram here so this is the 5a answer okay this is the answer to question number 5a okay uh, this two are same diagram actually right so actually what happens uh, here you see uh, this diagram is magnified diagram okay that's it so if you draw this one that's enough okay if you just draw this is just uh, that's enough okay so now question number 5b so now question number 5b let me give you the answer to this question so here you see answer to question number 5b starts from here this is 5b first piece pause the video and note it down or take a screenshot and this is the second and this is the third second third okay so let me show you again first second third here is the fourth piece right that's it and uh, remaining questions will be solved in the next video okay we're gonna start from question number six and uh, hope uh, you like my videos and please do share with your friends and uh, you see i'm not explaining each and every details of this paper uh, this astrophysics because uh, um, i will make a separate series video series okay so as uh, for that purpose uh, you know to make a separate video series i need time and i have to study this paper thoroughly so as we have don't have as we don't have enough time because uh, uh, you know exam is knocking at the door so that's why just i'm giving you the answers from uh, you know book directly okay so thank you for watching see you in the next video